I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled, Continuing Context. Other than our great God himself, everything that currently exists is a product of history and the various continuing contexts therein. Based upon your understanding of God's plan and purpose, picture with me the continuing context both in heaven and upon the earth. In heaven, the vast majority are graciously receiving orientation from holy angel servants concerning what they could have and should have learned during their life on earth. This includes those who rejected God's justice and love. Those who have had longer to learn, such as Adam's firstborn, Cain, now rejoice in the truth that Jesus is his exclusive Savior and that God loves him unconditionally. Souls such as these help mentor those who remained willfully ignorant during their life on earth. Concerning our great God, his beloved Son, and the few who are found worthy, they fully appreciate this most unique, unpredictable continuing context upon the earth where they learn from our current witness for God. Within heaven, all is the very best it can possibly be while we continue to be honored witnesses for God. The earth. The earth, this is the greatest of all times upon the earth. But why? because the ultimate truth of God's purpose and plan is currently freely available to all, and everyone will be blessed immensely just for being in this brief, continuing context. Uh, how could it be fair, though, that even the masses, who couldn't care less about God and his love for them, to receive blessings for simply being here? Our great God does not think like a fallen man. He seeks an opportunity to unconditionally bless all. Upon honestly studying the Bible record, it becomes obvious that men wrote the Bible and not our great God of unconditional love. This should not surprise anyone who knows, understands, and loves God with all of their soul, proving this in how they live their lives. Instead of accepting what others have taught concerning their thoughts of God. If you limit what you believe to what you agree with, you will never progress from where you are in your understanding of vital subjects in your school of life here. And don't be afraid to admit that you have been wrong in what you believe about the person and plan of God, for it takes strong character strong character in the continuing context of your personal resolve to know and understand all proven truth that can and will set you free forever. Until next time.